She is hungry. Look how clear the water is. Found it, guys. They have lots of it here. Got the lucky bamboo. Hey, what is going on friends? Welcome back to another video. If you are new to the channel, my name is Ashley and I make new fish content every week. So remember to smash the subscribe button and come join the family. And uh, today's video, adding lucky bamboo into my aquarium. Check it out. Uh, most of you are already familiar with my DIY filter over here. That I built, I'll put the video link on the top right hand corner of the screen where I built this DIY filter. And so, yeah, I'm growing a lot of potos here, potos in my hangar bag. And now, Lucky Bamboo is to make it that much better to reinforce the filtration that it's doing. And uh, so, you can see right now it's very dense down here, see, all very dense, so it's hard to grow any more potos. I might try to add a little bit more, but uh, what Lucky Bamboo does is that it's because it's much longer. It'll stick out and it'll grow above up in here. She is hungry. Check it out guys. Look how clear the water is. Don't you just love it when your tank is so crystal clear. And a little garami hiding down there. So cute. Yep. And we need to name this guy. So in the video where I asked you guys to name the jelly bean convict, um, some of you guys gave some really good names. I'm having a hard time deciding between two names. First, we have Red Devil Macro, who has been commenting a lot, and uh, he said Jelly Belly. And uh, Yeah TV agrees with him, he says Jelly Belly. So that is one name I'm considering. The other name that I really like is um, Silver or Lead. 999 say name the fish snow because it's white and uh, i really like that name as well and uh and ryan commented snowy so it's between snowy and jelly belly and uh i can't decide on with today's video i gotta head down to ikea to get my lucky bamboo when people come to ikea you eat either meatballs or hot dogs comment down below what you guys eat meatballs or hot dogs You want to get some um, poltos to go in your to go in your aquarium. They have lots of it here, lots of poltos. All right, found it, guys. Lucky bamboo. This go for only one ninety per stock, I believe. So really cheap and really good. They come in this little um, plastic cap that keeps the root wet so we just need to take it off and put it um, however you want into the aquarium so let me see how many shall you get Alright guys, got the lucky bamboo. Um, I'm gonna have to decide where to put it, but yep, we have six stalks right here. And uh, these were actually, they turn out to actually be like, instead of 190, they were 290, because this is the variation where it spirals up here. So I haven't exactly decided um, where I'm gonna put it. I have six here, I'm thinking I'll probably put like three here, maybe one there and stick two here. I might try to put one in the basking area, um, we'll see how that goes. So I'll put the camera down and I'll get these 
Lucky Bamboo into the tank and filtering the water and uh, once again look at how crystal clear it is I absolutely love it alright let's get to it All right, check it out, guys. So I got five lucky bamboos back over here, and they grow up into my basking area. And my last one that I'm trying out is over here. So it goes all the way down into this corner, so it's not in the filter. Over here. So you can see the roots are tucked in to the corner. All the way out, it gets indirect sunlight, which is what Lucky Bamboo needs. Here also, um, window light and the basking light, which I'm hoping is not too strong. This is a 13 watt bulb only. So, I hope it's fine. Let me show you guys. Lots of wiring here. Um, yeah, this one. So, this is what it's like when it's on. Not too bright. Probably can't tell from the camera anyway, but... Yeah, it's not crazy bright and uh, it makes the place look that much better. I hope Tom doesn't try to eat it. The leaves are pretty high, so that's fine. Um, the bamboo is probably too thick for him to eat. So he did try biting some of those that I put inside and it seems to be of no use. So doing just fine. I'm not too afraid of their roots because they're all tucked behind all the plants. And yeah. So the only thing about this is that because I grow it here, up in the basking area, number one, just a little afraid that the light might be too bright for it. I'll have to monitor that. And number two, it makes um, maintenance a little bit harder because usually when I do my water change and stuff like that, I move the basking area around. Or sometimes I take it off completely. But now I can't really do that. Or it's a lot more hassle to do it. So yeah, a lot of things doing my filtration for me. Of course I have my filters which are helping out with the ammonia and nitrite but as far as nitrate comes and ammonia as well we have all these plants look at that, all that java fern I have anubias here I got my new java moss growing below you get a focus yep and then we even have terrestrial plants all my pothos and now the addition of the lucky bamboo and more lucky bamboo up here so that is an ecosystem guys it doesn't mean I don't have to change water, it just means the system is a lot healthier. Keeping the nitrates low and it allows me to feed them well. Yep, look at that. Happy little fellas. I, I like how natural it looks. So if it works out well, I might even add more because we can just stack the whole line up and get it to really, really, you know, one whole bamboo looking patch over there. I am absolutely in love with the Lucky Bamboo. Um, I think I could do with more but I'll let it run first and see, make sure that the light doesn't kill it and if it does fine, I'll probably get more so that it gets more filled in. But yeah, I really like the aesthetic look of it behind over there because I have always found that area to be a bit lacking. If I put aquatic plants there, it's right where the filter is and you know too much movement and it gets sucked in by the filter and all of that kind of problems. So. And if I left it blank, it's always I always felt that you know I could see too much outside. So this lucky bamboo really sort of solves that problem. Um, unintentional, of course. You guys know that originally I intended to put it in the filter in my DIY filter. And you guys know that I absolutely love the idea of an ecosystem. So this is one step closer, and it's just nice to know that you know it's when you talk about aquariums, it's about like creating a nice home and a nice environment for your fishes and. You want to make it as healthy as possible and plants do that, right? Life in the aquarium is not only what is confined to the aquarium, it's not confined to fishes, right? We have plants and then we talk about the life that happens on top, right? So on top we have my potos, we have the lucky bamboo and we have tom that comes out to bask as well. So it's like another life that happens out of the aquarium as well. So you're not limited to what is within your aquarium. I really like to encourage people to think along those lines of like, 
expanding beyond just the aquarium itself what happens above create some kind of life that happens above whether it's plants whether it's you know if you have a terrapin build a basking area outside like some people build it within i think it's so much nicer when something comes out of the aquarium and then you sort of give that that different type of life to it that you're not just restricted to what is within the water or what's within the glass itself let the life come out and uh yeah that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did remember to like this video and uh subscribe turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time i upload and if not i'll see you guys in the next video peace